One of my fellow gooners. What? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? My gosh. You know what? I saw before the game people were talking about Friday the 13th, Brentford first game up, um, first first time up, and I thought, yeah, oh, come on. I had big hopes for us. Like, I'm thinking, right, we've got one game a week. Top four is the minimum. Top four is our minimum. I know Arteta hasn't been backed like he should have, and I think there are some circumstances which we need to look at. But, some of the players, man, some of the players that miss him. I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna go through. It. I did a player rating on my on my hope. I'm gonna talk through it. Cause this thing hurt me, man. This hurt me. First game of the season, it hurt me. Um, so we start the game. I thought, all right, we're playing. We're playing all right. I know we like to retain possession. That's what we like to do. Retain possession. But so, um, you know, we get the ball, win back possession. All right, get back to the keeper. Start again. Da -da 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 -da. Let's start with Bert Leno. We are building our house of matchsticks. You can't do that. You, you, the foundation, Bert Leno is the foundation. I always say he's a great shop stopper. And in some teams, he will be fantastic. But for what Mikko Arteta is asking him to do, he either needs to have some intense training with his feet work and football plays on five sides and stuff like this, or we have to cancel trying to play like this he he gets the ball he's slow still he's looking at the ball he's slow he don't want to make a mistake i understand that it may be not even his fault it may not even be his fault it may not be his fault but it's just showing how bad of a decision which i knew it was a bad decision at the time emmy martinez letting him go was a mad decision this emmy martinez I'm not, i know there's a big debate about amongst the fans but it's facts what did what did they see in the training pitch to say get rid of get rid of Emmy Martinez when Emmy Martinez he could play on the floor properly baller and whenever he could, took shots in he caught them he made saves where I thought right he caught that he kept his hands on it and he's and the ball stuck just we miss Emmy Martinez so we're building we're, we're, we're behind already like even if we got Ramsdale or whatever that madness was as a backup keeper we're banging trouble the level of our goalkeeper is not good enough for what we're trying to do he was beating at his near post some people telling me it's a hard shot it was a hard shot you never get beaten at your near post bro I, something I always stuck with me you never get I saw Raya had a similar shot from Pepe at his near post. Well, no, it's not a similar shot, but it was right in his bottom corner. He said, no, I'm not getting beaten at my near post. That's a rule for a goalkeeper. Don't get beaten at your near post. Wherever the shot was a bit too powerful. All right, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, but his footwork poor. Let's go to the right back, Callum Chambers. Callum. Callum, mate. Last year, I was thinking, right, Callum is looking good enough to step up, but you've got to produce that level week in, week out to solidify your place in this squad. We got caught on the first game of the season on our heels. We got caught on the first game of the season on our heels, of the season on our heels. Come on, come on, man. Arsenal's about who you are, Remember who you are, what you are, and what you represent. Bro, it feels to me, it feels to me like the club is carrying some of these players, yeah? Not, I'm not talking about just Callum Chambers here. I'm just feel, I'm thinking the club's carrying the players rather than the players carrying the club. And that's where it's always got to be with a football club. You've got, the players should be carrying the club. You're the one we're employing to carry us forward. Boy, you, some of you lot. I don't know if you're turning up to the grounds thinking we're Arsenal, but boy, you've got to show we're Arsenal, not just turn up and think we're Arsenal. You have to show, because teams are up for it against us. you got to expect a game week in, week out when you play for us. You're going to be up against it. You, it's your job to silence the crowds. Now, I'm not saying everything we did was bad. I like the way we kept possession at times, but there's got to be some cutting edge to it. There's no good us keeping possession and then getting to the final third and not doing nothing. We'll get to it. Ben White. Ben White, 
I saw against Tottenham, I thought, oh, I like, I like what I see here. He looks like a top, top player. I'm not sure if it's because he's surrounded by shit that he lost his head, but we need Ben White. He's so much pressure on the lad. So much pressure. Young player, so much pressure. He's come with a big price tag, which is not easy for him. But when you invest in that sort of money, you need to see some you know something of what we're getting I'm not going to overreact straight away on him I'm not going to jump on him because he's one of us now and it's for us to support him and you know he still can prove to us what he's got to offer but yesterday that level that he produced out there is not good enough not good enough we need strong mentality players here and um, you know I still going to still we still got to give him time but the aerial jewels is concerning. I think he won 45% of his aerial jewels and overall jewels. Tony got the better of him. Next week he's going to be up against Lukaku. He's going to be up against Lukaku. If you thought Tony was a brute, wait till he flipping feels the wrath of Lukaku. Boy, boy, man. Recruitment, recruitment team. What the f is going on? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna diss him. Though. I'm gonna give him a chance. He's one of us. We need to get behind him. But recruitment team, recruitment team. When you spend fifty flipping million on a player, he has to have certain attributes. Winning the ball in the L air. I'm expecting him to boss the air. I'm expecting him to win almost every duel in the air. Oh, you know that Southampton guy, this, the one that uh, Leicester just bought. What's the what's the, what's what's the, what's the difference between like? You, do you know what I mean? We should be getting brutes in the air, brutes on the ground, and they can play for fifty mil. But anyway, well, let's give him a chance. Pablo Mari, bro. Last year I, I was watching you play, yeah, and I was thinking, right, this guy, Pablo Mari, he's a he's a top centre back. This guy. What is going on, Pablo Mari? Is it because you're at Arsenal now? Bro, Pablo. Pablo. Come on, man. I'm talking to you. Pablo. Pablo, mate. That's not it. In pre-season, I was worried. I thought last year, this guy's a ball of seven mil. What a bargain. Bro, what is going on? I'm not sure if it's because you're being asked to play a high line and you're not comfortable with it. But that, yesterday, not good enough. I was worried to get it in the mind series. But you're carrying that, obviously, you're not going to change much. That's not, that's not it, bro. That is not it. That is not it. You, you know, it reminds me of, you know, like if you have one of them, like you, you're organising a party, you know you get them fat security guys that just got the, the, um, the, you know, security, the security sort of jacket on, whatever it is, the high vis, the security high vis. But that man ain't doing no push-ups or no, there was no protecting the back. There was no leadership. Man, Pablo, Pablo, you need to fix up my you. Let's move on to the Shaka. Shaka, I'm not going to even diss Shaka, yeah? Shaka wasn't great, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. He's our people getting on to him for being our captain and that. But with Shaka, I just feel like he shouldn't be playing yet. He's He came back late from pre -se for pre-season. He's, in, in theory, he's been thrown in. He got thrown in against, um, I think it was Chelsea, because Partey got injured. He got thrown in. He, he shouldn't have been playing so long. He hasn't had a proper pre-season yet. So I'm not going to knock Shaka. I don't think he's up to speed. So I'm going to give Shaka a few games to get his match sharp just before I make comment. But I know Shaka. I like Shaka. So I, people can get onto me about it. But I actually like Shaka. I think he's a good player. Very good player. Um, Lakonga, mustard. Absolutely mustard. When I say about carrying carrying the club and us not carrying the that's what I'm talking about. Brave, takes the ball anyway, take, took the ball anyway. He's gonna make mistakes, he's young. But bro, this is showing man, this is how you do it. 
I hope Arsenal doesn't have an impact on him. I hope we don't affect him negatively. negatively. Like he looks like a, he was taking the ball, driving us forward. Good touches, rarely losing possession. Driving. I like what I see with Nokonga. I like what I see. Now, when I say recruitment team, that's the level. If you're going to recruit young players, that's what I'm expecting, mate. That's what I'm expecting. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Um, what'd you say? Um, well, no, don't worry. Um, what else is it? Uh, what else are we talking about here? Else there to talk about Emma Smith Rowe, sublime, sublime touches. He's a player, you can see he's a player now. He needs to improve on his composure. He gets into the final third and he's not making the correct decision all of the time, which is young still and it's going to improve with time. Um, but there was a time where he could have slipped in Balogun and he's chosen Nicolas Pepe, who I'm going to get to. Um, he, could have, he could have slipped in Nicolas Pepe, doesn't. Um, could have stood in Balogun, he doesn't. He got into a good shooting position, hits the ball straight at the keeper. Um, but he was sublime yesterday. I think if everyone was on, in the attacking sense was playing like... Um, Emil Smith Rowe, we would have been all right. He was he was one of our better players. Get taking the ball in tight areas, first touch is immaculate. Technically, he's very good. Emil Smith Rowe, in fact, technically he is very good. All I want to see now is him just taking that deep breath in the final third, relax, take a second, make the right choice. That's all he needs to do. That's all Emil Smith Rowe needs to do. Take a second, take a breath, make the right choice. Compose yourself. Don't snatch at it. What's in front of you? If you're gonna get, if you're gonna, um, if it opens up for you, don't snatch at it. Just do what you're doing training, bro. Hit the corners. Hit the corners. Nine times out of ten, or well, not nine times out of ten, but you'll score more than you don't. Um, but you need to just set yourself up to score, to to to, to be putting the ball in the corners. Um, not snatching at it, that's what I want to see and, and, and do if always play the right part. It's only two occasions when he didn't do the right thing if you ask me, but he was sublime, um, Emma Smith Rowe. Nicholas Pepe. Nicholas Pepe. I had massive hopes before the game. I'm in the group chats. I'm in the group chats. I'm saying Nicholas Pepe, watch out. Bro, that is not it. I don't know, I think with Nicholas Pepe, this is what I think. I think it's all in his mind, bro. He's a player that needs to be up against it. That's always needs something to prove. He needs something to prove, Nicolas Pepe. He needs something to prove. Because when at the end of when he was left out for the year, he he put he got his head down and said, "No, no, no. I'm a, I'm going to be in that first team." I think I don't know if you've ever been in a football team when you be when you're younger and you haven't been selected, and you think, "What the flipping hell? I'm going to show you that, um, that I'm good enough." Like. What you mean? I'm not going to play. You don't put. You don't. You don't throw your toys out the pram. You just get your head down in training, and you graft. You graft. You graft. You graft. That's what Nicolas Pepe did last year, and he saw the fruits for that at the end of the season. That's why I had high hopes. But when I saw yesterday, because when he first came to us, I thought he was a bit arrogant. I thought that he thought he was the man. And he goes, look, but he wasn't showing us he was the man, and he wasn't working hard enough to be the man. And you, I remember seeing the seat, um, when he first came to us that he was um, he wanted to be like Lionel Messi. Well, Lionel Messi works his socks off. He works his socks off. He's an absolute beast. The football's there's physical attributes. If Nicolas Pepe gets his physical attributes right, he does not look sh like he's done enough work in the gym. He didn't look fit. I suppose that's going to come, but that's not it. Nicholas Pepe, that's not it. He slows down the intensity. You give him the ball. When you get, I don't know if it's because he's grafting so hard and he hasn't got the fitness to do it yet and whether it's going to improve with time. 
but we're giving him the ball. We're giving him the ball. And he's taking like 15 touches. They're there, they're not significant. I don't mind you taking 15 touches and being direct. Not, I'm not saying taking 15 touches, but you know what I mean? I don't mind you taking five, six touches if you're being direct. When you give the when people give you the ball, you're slowing down. Get on your bike, bro. Drive at them. They, when you're slowing the game down, they're setting themselves. Yeah, they're setting themselves, and there's less less to offer. You need to get the ball. Good first touch. Let's get at him. Get at him. Every that should be in your head. Get at him. Every time you got weak, got knocked off the ball, you look soft. You look too soft, brother. You're not off. You're too soft. You were easy to defend. You was not a problem. I don't know how many crosses you put in or how many successful crosses you put in. I don't know how many successful dribbles you had. I don't know how many successful key passes you had. But generally, Nicolas Pepe, that was shit. That was shit. That was not flipping good enough. I expect more. You've got a, your player in there. If you your career is just going to drift by, and you're not going to reach the heights of your career, you're not going to your your career is just going to drift, bro. If you don't start producing week in week out, I'm not going to react on on one game. But if you don't get, uh, you should be looking at this season coming, thinking right. I'm going to show people that like, I'm one of the best players. I'm going to be one of the top players in this league this year. That's what you should be showing. But you're not ready. What? First game of the season, you're not ready. We are shambles, bro. We are shambles. Balogun, I am not going to knock Balogun. I saw a stat come up yesterday which showed who had the fewest touches. And it was Balogun. He made some good runs. He's a proper striker, Balogun proper striker and I think like had uh, he got a couple of passes in he could, he, you know he's, he's quite lethal in front of goal I'm not going to lock Balogun he, he was he never got in the game enough but you know we got to give him a chance man like that was the whole team didn't perform yesterday the whole team didn't perform so all I can say to Balogun is keep your chin up keep working hard in training um Keep working on your finishing. Your chances will come. Your chances will come. I, I was excited to see him start, to be honest. But when he, when the service he got, I don't know if it's because it's because we're doing that possession, retaining possession stuff. So the, the chances are, and we're not producing enough quality. We need, we need help, man. So hopefully, when Martin Odegaard comes in, that's going to offer us something else. And when Saka came in, we looked a lot better, but we're not ready yet. We are not ready. So it's hopefully it's a week on the training field. Get our stuff together. We go again, man. But anyway, that's it. That's my breakdown of what happened against um, yeah, well, the players anyway. Mikko Arteta. I'm not, how do you, what do you say? Like, you got one player, one player in Ben White. Which I understand we want to build off a solid foundation, but he needs a goalkeeper. He needs a better goalkeeper than Leno. He needs a better... I, I, I saw before the game what he said when they were asking him certain questions. And he goes... They asked him a question about... Um, about... Um, oh, um, do, what do you reckon expectation is? He goes, yeah, he, knew, he knows the expectations very high he knows that's what he expects at Arsenal football club that's what I expect him to say but he said something which made me think Ooh. and I lost my confidence straight away when he said this he said but whether we have the players is another question we need to back him man we need to back him we are getting what we're getting out what we're putting in we're not ready for the, the pre-season because obviously I know negotiations are hard I know it's not easy in this market we're not able to let go of certain players and we can't have 30, 40 players on the books we can't have 30, 40 players on the books if we're only playing like one game a week because we're not in Europe 
we basically have been mismanaged for the longest time and we need to get rid of we we we, we want to get rid of Hector Bellerin we can't get rid of Hector Bellerin we probably want to get rid of a we probably want to narrow the squad down to 22 and we can't do it because no one's taken it we can't even we haven't even got rid of Kalasinac we can't get rid of the players it's like can we even give away some of these players and that's a problem bro but there's no market in the, there's no money in the market there's no money in the market there's no money in the market so we can't bring in a load of new players and keep the existing players we have to try and get rid of some of these players so I guess there's going to be some really good bargains for um, player for, for some clubs that want to come for our players if any but uh, we need to trim this squad right down we need to get rid of Klasinac um, I think Saliba letting go of Saliba that was a mistake um, we've got to get rid of Bellerin I would like to keep Niles but who knows? We need to get rid of Reese Nelson. We need to get rid of there's there's a few more players that we need to get rid of. We need to get rid of Al Nenny. We need to get rid of Rob Holding. It's a lot of work to do. Still four or five players. You get rid of four or five players. In a in a in a in a proper market, I reckon we could have got eighty to hundred mil for those players, maybe. Maybe like maybe ten million for Klasinac, I would say maybe, and that's low. We 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 always get low money for our players. Reese Nelson, because he's because he's not getting played, he needed to go on loan. We needed to put Reese Nelson on loan so we could get some game time and show people what he's worth, like Joe Willock did. So uh, really, if we could have done that, he needs to go out on loan, um, Reese Nelson. If we can, I don't know if he's in his last year of his contract or not, but he needs to go out on loan so we can get some value up on him. Um, uh, and then he just take whatever, anything. If you give us anything, we paid the five million for him. If whatever we get for him, I'm happy with. Just get rid of El Nene. Where's Lucas Torreira? I think if we can't get little Lucas, he needs to come in. We need Lucas Torreira. If we don't get another seven midfield, I want to see Lucas Torreira training with the team. I know he don't like England, but so be it. Me, we need you. We need you, son. Um, so there's a lot of stuff to do for this club. There's a lot of stuff to do for this club. But yeah, so that's, that's, it's not a hard market. They basically are still dealing with the shit they've come into. Edu and these guys. I like the idea of getting loads of youngsters. That gives us direction. The direction is we get younger players, they, we coach them up to um, increase value and we go from there go from there um, lads is what it is lads let's move on my Guna family um, yeah Chelsea let's see you next week mate uh, we need a much bigger performance